Hi there, welcome to Ludlow on Tour. Um, I'm here at this wonderful school, Patrington Church of England Primary Academy, as part of uh, a visit I'm doing to engage parents. We've just come from Sigglethorne where we met a group of parents talking about what works really well uh, in terms of the school and the trust and what we could do a little bit better. Uh, later on this afternoon I'll be meeting with the parents of Patrington. The purpose of this little video is to give you a little bit of an update of where we are as a trust, some of those core messages and news, and for you to see some of the schools that belong to the trust. The first thing I want to say is a really big well done to all those staff that have recently been at schools that have experienced Ofsted. Ofsted is something that we have to live with and it is a useful tool if we use it as that, giving us the direction that we need to go to the trust. What I'm really pleased about is that firstly, Filey, Ebor Filey Secondary School um, has moved out of a category. It's moved from being inadequate in the right direction and is now room for improvement. We know there's still challenges ahead, we know that there's a lot of work to do, but what we're really pleased about and proud of is the achievements made so far. I'm also really pleased to say that Brotherton and Byram Primary Academy have also received it Ofsted. Their report will be out soon and I can share with you that it is a very positive report. In terms of other uh, areas that we've been working on, our school to school support arm has worked really well. I know those people that are involved in being part of a team uh, have been working across the East Riding and North Yorkshire area. We've also had two schools that we've um, supported recently, both of which have come out as good in Ofsted and Ofsted have recognised the level of support that you, members of staff, have given those schools. So well done to you. If you are a member of staff that's interested in school to school support, being either a specialist leader of education or an accredited EBOR support teacher, please let your head teacher know. They can contact Dave Barber and he will be able to um, look at whether we can accredit you for one of the teams. Now, in terms of other news of the Trust, uh, you may be aware that we're a group of 18 schools now. 18, one secondary school, one special school, and 16 primary schools. That 18 is soon to become in September 22 schools. The next school to join us will be Oswaldwick, which will be joining us in July. Talking on of, of, of Oswaldwick uh, Primary School, uh, we're soon to move to that site as a central services team. We have a new uh, offices over in that school where we're also really excited that we've created some key partnerships in terms of training and development. You will know that, some of you will know, that we have a partnership with Early Excellence uh, which is a, a recognised national provider of early years resource and provision and training based in Huddersfield. They want to work in partnership with us and open up a York base. We're also really excited that another partnership is being established with Just Imagine Reading uh, Early uh, Reading Excellence, I think it's called. Um, they're, they're based in Essex. They've been working with Fiona Thompson, one of our academy specialists, and are really keen to open up um, a base in the north and work with us. So we're looking forward to having other training opportunities, uh, working with them to provide those to the wider trust. Also, one of the other things that I'm really proud of recently is our partnership with Inspiring Leaders in uh, the Midlands. Inspiring Leaders is a group of teaching schools that work really well collaboratively together. We hold the, uh, we are the gatekeepers uh, in the north, east, and what started off being a really small provision has really developed. Over 70 practitioners are being participating in either our national professional qualification in middle leadership or senior leadership or the MPQH looking for headships. 
So again, well done to those people that have been trained as facilitators and those that are participating. Again, if you're interested in following your careers and uh, becoming um, accredited uh, on one of those MPQ programs, talk to your head teacher. So partnerships are really important to us. The next thing I'd like to, to just let you know is apprenticeships. We, we can train teachers and we do that really well. And what we recognise as a trust, we need to really invest in our support staff. And I'm really pleased to tell you about our apprenticeship programmes that are being launched in September. We are now an employer accredited apprenticeship provider and therefore we will be providing for some of our current teaching assistants some NVQ level 3 qualification opportunities. They will be coming out to you shortly and that's a great opportunity to look at your own professional development and career pathway. With each of those NVQ qualifications we're looking at a specialism. That specialism might be in early years provision, might be in reading and writing development through literacy, might be in special needs. The important thing is not only are the MVQs going to be focused on be, being a TA, um, being a teaching assistant, but also about having that core specialism that can be shared across the trust. Lastly, before we introduce you to our, uh, the head teacher of Patrington Church of England Primary Academy, uh, I'd like to ask you to watch out for the relaunch of the teaching school. That will be happening soon. We're going to change the name from Ebor Teaching School Alliance to Ebor Hope Teaching School Alliance. More news to follow on that one. Hello, I'm Helen Atkinson and I'm the head here at Patrington Church of England Primary Academy. We are a Church of England school in the heart of a rural community at Patrington. We are a one form entry school with 218 pupils um, and we joined the Ebor Academy Trust on the 1st of October 2017. We are enjoying being part of the wider trust, working with similar schools and very different schools and enjoying the collaboration and support that the trust offers.